Hey, hey, peace and love. Uh, happy New Year. I wanted to come on and share something with you guys um, about goals. You know, this is that time of the year where everybody is actually sitting down and writing their New Year's resolutions, um, thinking about those things that they plan to get in shape, right? Or plan to write that book or what have you. And over this past week, I was going through my accomplishment jar. It's, it's empty right now. And it, it's something dawned on me. So the past few years, what I've been doing is every Friday afternoon, well, you know, around so when I get a chance, I jot down the few things that I've accomplished during that week. And so over the course of a year, 52 weeks, I would have about 50, 52, 53 pieces of paper in here. And I would pull them out. And over the first week of the year, just kind of just remind myself of what I had already accomplished. And I'm bringing it up because I thought about the idea that when I sit down and write down what I want to accomplish, you know, I get this kind of tense uh, stress a little bit. Then it dawned on me that, wait a minute, once I start reading the things I've already accomplished, and it reminds me of what I've already done and what places I've already been, it gives me uh, that extra boost, that extra energy to go and do the things that I said I'm going to do uh, in the coming year. So with that said, I just wanted to share this idea with you. This is the accomplishment jar. Uh, so the way it works is every uh, Friday for me, or at least once a week, you sit down and you write down the things that you've accomplished during that week. And they can be very, very small things, perfectly fine, right? And then at the end of the year, the end of the month, pull those things out and you remind yourself how well you've done. You give yourself that pat on the back. You remind yourself that you are already winning. And when you know that you're already winning, it makes it winning in the future a whole lot easier. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you guys. Peace and love.